Welcome, in front of me I have Xiaomi Mi Band 6 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the notifications on this device. First we need to open the Mi Fit app on our phone, so let's do it. In the app, let's tap on the screen to skip this. In the app, let's tap on the profile icon right here. Then select our uh, Mi Smart Band 6 from the list of devices by tapping on it. And here we have notifications and reminders option. Tap on it to select it. And right here we have different types of notifications and reminders. We have incoming call, app alerts, idle alert, incoming SMS and goal notifications. So if you want, for example, to get enough notifications about the incoming calls, we need to tap on incoming call. And here uh, we need to tap on this warning right here, allow access to phone, tap on it then allow the permissions for the calls. And now we can enable it by tapping the switch next to it, like this. Here we can tap on got it or go to settings. I'm gonna tap on got it. And again, it's asking us to allow the access to contacts. You don't need to do it, but uh, you won't see the name of the contact who's calling you. We will only see the number if you want allow the uh, co contact access. So let's tap on it and allow it. And also we have allow access to call history. You can also allow it or deny it, depends what you like. And at last we have DND permission. You can also allow it or deny it by tapping on the permission, then go to settings. And here you have do not disturb mode access. You can tap on me fit and then tap on allow do not disturb like this, then tap allow, go back to your app. And now we don't have any uh, warnings and here we can enable, disable the call in, uh, notifications. And also we have a few more options like show contact information. You can disable it or enable it. You can also delay alerts. You can enable it or disable it. And if you enable delay alerts, you will have set delay. And here you can select uh, the d delay duration basically by swiping up and down on the screen. Let's select for example 30 seconds and tap OK. Like this. OK. We can also enable the notifications for apps. To do it, let's tap on app alerts. And here, we, as you can see, we need to enable the notification access. So let's tap on this message, then tap OK. And here, we need to select the uh, MiFit app. Basically, we need to allow the notification access for the MiFit app. So let's tap on it. And then tap the switch next to allow notification access. Then tap allow, like this. And now we can go back to our MiFit app and we can enable app alerts by tapping the switch next to it like that. Again, you can tap, tap on call to settings or got it. I'm gonna tap on got it. And now the app alerts are enabled. We can uh, also enable the option called only receive when the screen is off by tapping the switch. Basically, you will get notifications from the apps only when the screen is off. When it's woken up, you won't see them. And here we have uh, apps with the notifications enabled because we can en enable the notifications for each app separately. And we have MeFit and WhatsApp. To add or remove apps, simply tap on Manage Apps right here at the bottom, like this. And here we have list of apps we can select or uh, unselect. For example, I'm gonna select <clears throat> Chrome, Brave, um, maybe Discord and let's say messages, it should be M. I don't see it though. Well then, whatever, let's select only those. Go back and now as you can see, we have more apps on the list and we get the notification, we will get the notifications from these apps right here. If you want to disable the notifications for the app, of course, you can tap on manage apps right here and unselect it by tapping on the checkbox again, like this. Okay, let's go back to the notifications and reminders menu. Next uh, notification type is idle alert. You can tap on it. And here you can basically enable the idle alert, alerts. What it does is if you sit for uh, in one place without movement for one hour or more, I think it's one hour, yeah, for one hour, you will get the uh, 
notification that you should uh, stand up and move around for your health, of course. And you can enable it by tapping on the switch. Here you can enable when it's the when this feature is active, basically, the time period. You have start time and end time. If you tap on start time, you can select when it's gonna be turning on, the idle alerts, of course. To do it, simply swipe up and down on hours to set the hour, then on minutes to set the minutes, and tap OK to confirm. Then we have end time. Again, you can set the hours, minutes, and tap OK. And at the bottom, we have do not disturb, basically, you can enable this option uh, for the device not to disturb you uh, in the certain period of hours or time. And you can enable this option and tap on it. And it's gonna be silent between 12 and, uh, or rather, yeah, 12 and 2 p.m. Like this. 12 a.m. and 2 p.m., my bad. Okay, let's go back. And below idle alerts, we have incoming call uh, SMS not calls, my bad. This is basically for the messages, you can tap on it. And enable the notifications for messages by tapping the switch, like this. And at the bottom we have goal notifications. And here you can enable the notifications for goals by tapping the switch, or disable them of course. Same for the incoming SMS, you can disable them by tapping the switch too. And that's basically how you enable the notifications on this device. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.